Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Toshiba. This is their USB 3.0 portable hard drive, the Canvino Basics, one terabyte drive. You can check this drive out on Amazon at the time of this video for $54. They have uh, one terabyte, two terabytes, and even three terabytes. Uh, I bought this specifically to back up my Xbox One and add external storage to my Xbox One. So an extra terabyte of storage for my Xbox One for $54 is not a bad deal at all. Uh, you will have that link in the description below where you guys can check it out on Amazon as well. Now this uh, it says it's compatible with Windows 10, Windows 8, uh, Windows 7 uh, formatted in NTFS. Uh, and then it requires formatting for Mac OS, uh, so it is compatible with Mac OS, but you'll have to reformat it. Uh, available USB or uh, 2.0 or 3.0 port required. Uh, the plug-in on this, on the back of this actual drive, is a 3.0 connection, which you'll see in a second. Uh, and it's very simple and easy to set up. On my Xbox One, it was super simple and easy to set up. I just took it out it doesn't have an external power supply so i just plugged the usb 3.0 cable in to the drive and then to the back of my xbox one it came up on the screen asked me to uh format it for either uh games or uh media files i formatted it for games and it then became part of my uh available storage so super easy to set up now on the back, they go over a few different things. Uh, you know, basically add high capacity storage to your computer, uh, no software to install, it's plug and play, fast data transfer with the USB 3.0 connectivity. Uh, you basically get the drive, uh, a 3.0 USB cable and a guide, and that's pretty much it. So you're gonna have about 900 and, I wanna say 38, uh, instead of a full terabyte. So be aware of that. Just because of the formatting issues, that's kind of how it goes uh, with these drives or with any drive, really. Uh, this is just a uh, warning, uh, Prop 65 warning, that it is a uh, contains chemicals including lead known to, to the state of California cause cancer and birth defects. Wash hands after handling. Uh, so that's that Prop 65 warning that you'll get with a lot of products. Uh, they give you a hard drive manual here. I mean, there's really nothing to go over. It's a 5200 RPM drive, uh, just to let you guys know. Uh, the funny thing about this just being a 5200 RPM drive is that through the actual USB 3.0 cable, uh, you'll get throughput. Uh, and if you install games on your Xbox One, they'll actually load faster from the external drive than they do from the internal drive. So that's excellent. Here's your USB 3.0. Uh, it is backwards compatible with 2.0. So if you're going to use it on a computer uh, or Mac, uh, you'll be fine with this. Uh, and here is that funky USB 3.0 connector on the end that will plug into the drive itself. Let me take a look at the drive real quick for you guys. Uh, very compact and slim. This drive is awesome. Uh, they've got it, you know, in a nice compact package. Uh, it's pretty much, I mean, you do see a seam there, but it almost looks unibody as far as how they constructed it. Uh, it is a plastic cover. There's an LED that's kind of an active LED that's blue. Uh, and then on the back, you're going to have your USB 3.0 connection that's just going to connect right in. Uh, and again, super simple to set up, very easy on the bottom. You're going to have uh, just your uh, part number, serial number, uh, and is super easy and compact. You can set this pretty much off to the side of your Xbox One or your PC or laptop, whatever you're going to hook it up to, and it kind of stays out of the way. Uh, so super simple, very easy, very compact, uh, affordable price at 54 bucks to add a terabyte of space to your uh, Xbox One or your PC or whatever you're trying to back up. Uh, Toshiba did an excellent job on this. Uh, game load times on my Xbox One are definitely faster off the drive externally than they are internally, which is kind of funny to me, but it's a good thing because I have a 500 gigabyte uh, Xbox One and this one terabyte uh, external storage, uh, I can load a ton more games on there and have it uh, load a lot faster as far as load times go. So uh, what I'll do is I will uh, show you a little bit on the Xbox One real quick and then I'll come back and close out the review. 
Okay, so here we are at the Xbox One main screen. I was just playing some of the crew off of this external Toshiba drive that we just installed. So, uh, and it is playing very well. Uh, I didn't have any problems with it whatsoever. Now, if you, when you initially set this up, what's going to happen is it's going to ask you to format your drive. So you're going to want to format that uh, either for uh, games and uh apps or media files uh, obviously I did mine for games and apps because that's where I needed the storage the most and then once it is done it takes about ah, less than five minutes to format it and since the good thing about the Toshiba drive is that it doesn't have any external power uh, it only has one cable that comes out it's that USB 3.0 cable uh, plug it right into the back of your Xbox one and it's so compact and small it can just sit right on top of the Xbox one it does very well so when you want to check it you'll go over to settings and then you will go to all settings and then you will go to uh, system and then you'll go over to storage. And here you'll have all of your storage listed. The first one here is my 500 gigabyte internal drive that's 87.7% used. And then of course this second one is 15% used. It's the Toshiba drive. Now this Toshiba one terabyte drive, once it's formatted, uh, clocks in at 931.5 gigabytes. And that's just through formatting. And even if you wanted to use it on PC uh, or Mac, it would do the same thing. Uh, you lose a little bit through formatting. Uh, and it is formatted for games and apps. Now, if you click on it, you can actually view the contents, rename it, or format it. Uh, we're going to view the contents real quick. And I do have some games on here. I have Dragon Age Inquisition, which is a larger title, Gears of War Ultimate, uh, The Crew, uh, Mega Baseball, because that was free this month, uh, and uh, you know a few other games there, Murder, Soul, Sus Suspect. So uh, if we want to uh, launch a game, I will do that in, in just a second here. Let me uh, take a look here at, uh, again, you can drop this down so you can see what's on the Toshiba drive, and then I can also see what's in internal. I've got more games on there, uh, and then uh, all storage for everything, uh, you know, that I have installed at the moment. So we'll go back to Toshiba. I will uh, relaunch the crew. I think it's already playing. So there it is. And you can see some gameplay. Uh, it's going to look a little pixelated because of the stream that I'm doing. I'm streaming this from my Xbox to my PC and capturing it with OBS. So that will happen. But as far as the smoothness of the gameplay, it's excellent. The load times are definitely a little quicker than your internal drive because of that USB 3.0 input. So T Toshiba did a great job on this. I'm really liking uh, the drive at the, for $54. You can, you know, pretty much add um, a terabyte of storage to your Xbox One. Uh, overall, it's very compact. It's quick. Uh, it stores, uh, you know, a lot of data for a $54 at the time of this review price point. You can also get uh, two terabyte and three terabyte uh, drives from them as well. So I'm going to end this here and uh, take it back to the close of the review. So that was the review of the Toshiba one terabyte Canvio Basics USB 3.0 hard drive for PC or Mac or in my case, Xbox One. Super compact, uh, no extra power adapter needed, uh, perfect for the Xbox One. Uh, this was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments about this drive, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like and subscribe and I will check you guys out on the next video.